China has issued a stark warning to Elon Musk's Starlink satellite submarines equipped with powerful laser weapons, directed energy weapons dues can now silently hunt and destroy these satellites from beneath the ocean. This groundbreaking development by the PLA signals a dramatic shift in space warfare, challenging the resilience of satellite networks and raising global security stakes. Why is this so significant? We'll dive deep into the technology behind these laser-equipped submarines, explore the strategic implications for Starlink and international defense, and uncover what this means for the future of space conflict. Stay tuned to understand this high-stakes game of underwater laser warfare and its potential to reshape global security. The concept of directed energy weapons DUES isn't new, but deploying them from submarines is a revolutionary leap. DUES, particularly those using solid-state, megawatt-class lasers, can target and destroy satellites from underwater, making them nearly undetectable. This technology involves fitting submarines with powerful lasers capable of firing at satellites while remaining submerged. The primary advantage here is stealth traditional anti-satellite operations, like ground-based missiles, are easily detectable due to their launch signatures. Submarines, however, can remain hidden, firing their lasers through retractable optoelectronic masts and then disappearing back into the ocean depths. This method significantly reduces the risk of detection and counterattacks. China's research, spearheaded by Wang Dan from the Naval Submarine Academy, emphasizes the limitations of current anti-satellite operations. Ground-to-air missiles leave visible trails, exposing the launch site to enemy retaliation. In contrast, submarine-based laser weapons offer a covert alternative. This stealthy approach could revolutionize how nations defend their space assets and challenge the dominance of satellite networks like Starlink. The importance of this technological leap cannot be overstated. As satellite constellations like Starlink become more prevalent, the ability to neutralize these networks covertly becomes a critical asset. Starlink satellites, densely packed and resilient due to their numbers, pose a unique challenge. Destroying them with missiles is inefficient and risky. Submarine-based dues provide a solution, allowing for targeted strikes without revealing the attacker's position, thus maintaining strategic advantage. Elon Musk's Starlink project has always been about more than just providing global internet coverage. While its primary mission is to connect the world with a network of low-Earth orbit LEO satellites, the potential military applications have not gone unnoticed. This dual-use capability of Starlink poses significant strategic concerns, especially for nations like China. The PLA's development of submarine-launched directed energy weapons dues is a direct response to these concerns, marking a pivotal shift in space defense strategies. Starlink satellites are small, densely packed, and resilient due to their numbers, making them a formidable network to disrupt. Traditional anti-satellite methods, like ground-based missile attacks, are not only inefficient but also risky. These attacks leave visible trails, exposing the launch site to enemy retaliation. However, submarine-based dues offer a stealthier, more efficient alternative. By operating from underwater, these submarines can remain undetected allowing them to strike at satellites without revealing their position. This covert approach is a game-changer in space warfare, providing China with a significant strategic advantage. The implications of this technology are profound. If China can effectively deploy these laser-equipped submarines, it could potentially neutralize the Starlink network, disrupting global communications and intelligence operations. This would force nations that rely heavily on satellite networks for military and civilian purposes to rethink their strategies. The stealthy nature of these submarine-launched dues also complicates efforts to regulate anti-satellite weapons. Unlike missile launches, which are observable and traceable, underwater laser attacks can go undetected, making it difficult to enforce existing treaties and agreements. Moreover, this development could spark an arms race in space. Other nations, particularly the United States and its allies, may feel compelled to develop similar technologies to maintain strategic parity. This could lead to increased military spending and heightened tensions, especially in regions already fraught with geopolitical conflicts. The potential for these underwater dues to alter the balance of power in space underscores the need for international dialogue and cooperation. 
Without a concerted effort to address these emerging threats, the risk of escalation and conflict in space becomes ever more real. The introduction of submarine-launched dues by China could significantly influence international relations and defense policies. As nations grapple with the implications of this technology, they will need to reassess their space defense strategies and capabilities. For the United States and its allies, this could mean developing countermeasures or similar technologies to neutralize the threat posed by China's underwater laser weapons. One of the most immediate impacts could be a shift in military spending priorities. Nations may need to allocate more resources to research and development of advanced space defense systems, including resilient satellite technologies and rapid replacement capabilities. This could lead to an arms race in space, with countries vying to outpace each other in the development of new and more sophisticated anti-satellite weapons. Furthermore, the development of submarine launch dues could prompt revisions to international space law. Current treaties, such as the Outer Space Treaty, primarily address the placement of weapons of mass destruction in space. However, they do not adequately cover dues or the complexities of underwater launches. This gap in the legal framework could lead to calls for new agreements or amendments to existing treaties to regulate these advanced technologies and prevent their misuse. Ensuring that these treaties are comprehensive and enforceable will be crucial to maintaining peace and stability in space. China's advancements also highlight the need for robust space defense policies. Nations may invest more in hardening their satellites against dues, developing capabilities to detect and respond to underwater threats, and enhancing international cooperation on space security. This could drive innovation in satellite technology, leading to more resilient and flexible space systems designed to withstand attacks from advanced weapons. The introduction of submarine launched dues also raises questions about the future of space missions. Military planners will need to consider the possibility of underwater attacks, influencing the design and deployment of satellites. This could result in more dispersed and less predictable satellite networks, complicating efforts to target and neutralize them. Additionally, nations may need to develop new doctrines and strategies for space warfare, taking into account the unique challenges posed by underwater laser weapons. The development of submarine launched dues by China is a significant milestone in the evolution of space warfare. It has the potential to reshape global security dynamics, prompting nations to rethink their defense policies and strategies. As the international community grapples with these advancements, the need for robust regulations and cooperative efforts to address emerging threats in space becomes increasingly apparent. China's development of submarine-launched directed energy weapons represents a significant shift in the landscape of space warfare. This technology offers a stealthy and efficient means of targeting satellites like Starlink, with profound implications for global security and international relations. As nations grapple with these advancements, the need for international cooperation and robust legal frameworks becomes ever more critical. The future of space warfare is uncertain, but understanding and addressing these emerging threats is essential for maintaining peace and stability in the increasingly contested domain of space. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.